Hi folks and welcome to my video on pedals on exercise bikes and I've got an exercise bike here and uh, one of the problems is is that if you want to get inside these machines then to, in order to get the cover off here quite often you have to remove the pedals and sometimes the pedal arm so in this video I'm going to deal with the pedals and uh, there's various uh, things that you need to know and various tips that can help make life a lot easier so first of all let's deal with the pedals themselves I've got two examples of pedals here. They come in lots of different shapes and varieties and styles, some with toe clips and some without. And one of the key differences is the size of the thread. Now, if you take a look at that, see where behind my little finger there, you can probably see that the pedal on the right hand side here, this one, is slightly bigger in terms of the thread behind my little finger. It's got a bigger diameter. So they generally come in two styles, which is 9 16 and half inch. And if you're going to replace the pedals, you need to know which size you've got, because only one will fit onto your, uh, your crank arms. These are, these are the crank arms. So the first challenge in changing the pedals or removing the pedals is uh, how to get them off. Now, fortunately, whether you've got a 9 16 or a half inch pedal, uh, the tool is the same. Ideally, you need one of these. It's got a, this is called a, 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 pedal, arm, a pedal removal tool. And you can see it's got a big long shank here, and that's great for getting good leverage. I'll show you that in a moment. But there's other varieties. There's this one here, which is uh, that's got the same size fitting on the end, but it's just shorter. Or indeed your own toolkit. You might have a ring spanner uh, or an open-ended spanner rather like this one, uh, which is even shorter. But the fitting on the top there is the same. So the first thing to know is are you going to remove the right hand or the left hand pedal? And when we're talking about right and left hand, we're always talking about from the point of view of the person sitting on the bike. So this clearly is the right hand side. And the important thing to note is that the right hand pedal always follows the conventional thread. In other words, the fitting here is righty tighty. The left hand pedal always has an opposite thread. It's got a left hand thread, which is not righty tighty, it's righty-loosey, or, or the opposite of this one. Now you need to know that because quite often these pedals are stuck on and they're very difficult to get off. And if you don't know which way you're supposed to be going, it can make life extremely difficult. So ideally, you'd get a nice big tool like this and you think, I'm working on the right-hand side, so it's righty-tighty. In other words, going to the right or clockwise is going to tighten the pedal, therefore to loosen it, I need to go left, lefty loosey. So in this one, a sharp tap to the end of the tool there will release the pedal. Now the problem with using shorter spanners, which you can use, let's imagine you're using your shorter spanner at your toolkit here, is that you've got less leverage. You don't get such a good mechanical advantage when you tap the end of the spanner. Uh, and also it can be quite hard on your hands, so you might want to perhaps wear a glove or put some, uh, put a put a cloth or something over the end here because as I say these, these can be really tight and you need to give it a good sharp jab like that and normally that's enough to release it and then you can release the pedal like this in the lefty loosey direction which is the normal convention for threads and screws let's just finish that off there we are you can see that's off uh, now when we go to the other side the left hand side Let's just pull the bike around. So on this side, now we can't go lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. Those rules don't work anymore because it's got a left-hand thread. So lefty-loosey would normally be that way, but in actual fact, we're going to go this way. We have to go the opposite direction because it's the left-hand pedal, which has got a left-hand thread. So I'll show you this one with the, the big tool. So you just find a convenient place. If necessary, just rotate the pedal around just to find a sort of comfortable position for you. You know, there's no need to be working in this kind of awkward position here. Just rotate, rotate the pedal around until you get somewhere that's comfortable to work. Stop and figure out which direction you're going to go. And in this case, we're going to go clockwise because it's opposite to the normal convention. Give it a quick tap and the pedal releases. That was tighter than the other side, but the principle is the same. And that's it, and that's how you do it. And then when, the, when it's released, you can completely unscrew it. And the advantage of getting the pedals off, especially if you are going to venture inside the case, is that it provides a clear access. And in some cases, 
with the, just the pedal off, you can sometimes get enough, there's enough aperture here to be able to maneuver the cover around your crank arm and therefore get the cover off. So uh, I hope that's of use. I'll see you on the next video.